Good day. Welcome to King Will's Earthing. Get out Mr. Retron 5 today. Uh, if you don't know what this does, this is basically a multi-platform um, emulator, but you need the real cartridges. Sort of. You can also get around that. But basically it plays Famicom, NES, Super Nintendo, Genesis, and then also on the front it has Game Boy, Game Boy Advance slots. And on the back, it lets you put a little SD card in so you can put all your ROMs on there if you want to kind of do some sneaky stuff. And it's HDMI. Really cool unit. Uh, it does have a database, so it kind of knows what cartridge you stick in there. And basically what it does, it takes the cartridge, reads the ROM into the emulator, and plays it through an emulator. So you can do a lot of neat stuff like uh, you can change it to, you know, put the scan lines in, different stuff like that. But today what I want to do is I want to see if the Retron 5 will know if it's a pirate card or not and play it. Because, like I said, it dumps the ROM. <clears throat> it then looks at its database so it knows what the game is and how to play it and stuff like that. So you don't do any settings. It's basically jam your cartridge in and away you go. And so you can kind of see I got a real cartridge here. This is a six-pack. It's got Sonic, Revenge of Shinobi, uh, Streets of Rage, kind of stuff like Gold Max. And you can see it's got the real security screws. It's kind of a semi-thick plastic. It has the brown connector. Uh, a nice uh, label. You can read the Sega. You can read the text really well. And this is an original cartridge. Now we're going to take a look at these fellows here. You're going to say, oh, those are cartridges. Oh, yeah, they're cartridges, all right. Um, but you can kind of see just by, like, Boogerman looks like he's kind of weird. Uh, this, of course, is a uh, something newer. And if you look at the back of these, let's see. It's the same. Seems like there are a couple different shells. These are, let's see, I think there's another shell in here. 16 bit. What's this one here? Okay, yeah, there's a couple different shells. You can tell by that it says 16 bit, 16 bit. The warnings are a little different. I'm not too worried about that, but of course the screws are plastic. It's fake. It's just a molded cartridge with screws in there. And the labels are pretty iffy. You can see this one's offset. It already hangs over. It's already kind of peeling off. And the text is a little fuzzy. Uh, same with the. Uh, Toe Jam and Earl, Sega's hard to read. Very light, and they all have the white arch edge connectors. Same with this fellow here. So what we're going to do today is we're going to jam these in the Genesis. And we're going to see if it recognizes these as the original ROM. Because basically what they did, they took the ROM, flashed it on a cartridge. Oh, where's the real one? Flashed it on a cartridge, and then sold it to you for like $2 from China. So let's plug them in. I'll we'll play with this one first. We'll try this one because we know this reads this. Then we'll try these pirated ones and see if it recognizes the real ROM. So let me get the monitor out for you guys, and I'll be right back. So hang on. i got to go over there. I'll be right back. Right, let's turn this bad boy on. Is it on? There it goes. And we'll let her boot up. got a very pretty uh, boot screen for some reason. I do have a, uh, I have a Sega Genesis controller here, but I have the Super Nintendo controller hooked up for some odd reason. So that's what we're going to play with today. And is she done? Oh, one more time. And there we go. So you can see no cartridge inserted. So I'll put in the official original Super Nintendo six-pack cartridge. This has snug connectors. So you can kind of see it says loading. So six-pack. It's doing some more stuff in the background, and you're ready to go. And another cool little feature about this, you can, let me get it out, let me get this out of there, and just pull it out while the machine's on. It says no cartridge inserted, because like I said, it takes this, dumps into ROM, and it doesn't use the cartridge anymore. So for the, for the first one, we're going to use the fake Booger Man, pick and a flick. you got to be careful with these, because it has, it's very touchy. There we go. See the loading? Okay, so did you detect Booger Man? Yeah, let's see, we'll do play. Pull it out and see it still plays. Oh, but it does say that it does know that the cartridge was removed. Return to main menu. So we do know that one works. And that was the fake Booger Man. Let's try the fake Flintstones. I'm going to guess they're going to work because it's probably just the original ROM dumped onto another cartridge. 
So it doesn't really care too much. Let's see if we can get this in there nice and straight. It does not like non-straight. Put them in straight, it detects that it's power. So I'm thinking these cartridges are probably a little thicker. It does seem like it's more this side than anything. It's very difficult to get in. There we go. Flintstones detected it. Play. Play. There it goes. Okay, that was the Flintstones. You can see the cartridge was removed, so it knows that you're entering the main menu. So that's good. We're looking good so far. Now the last one, uh, let's see, oh yeah, last one, this is kind of like a new, this kind of homebrew, I think, the, uh, um, what guy was this? Oh, Fix the Felix Jr. So we're going to play him. This one I'm really curious about. Oh, it, I didn't put it in right. Yeah, it seems like this slot is pretty tight. Let's get in there. Okay, loading. Loading, loading, loading. Yeah, so this one it definitely does not like. Let's see if we can get this in a little bit better. Loading. Okay, so it's not going to play <laughs> Fix-It Felix. My guess is because this is not in their database that you put on here. So it doesn't know what it is, so it just keeps trying and trying and trying. Oh, we do have one more cartridge. Let's try the last one. And this one is uh, Toe Gem and Earl. This is one of my favorites. There we go. Toe Gem and Earl. So it did detect that one. Let's hit play. So we did learn that these piratey ones from China do play. They detect them as original cartridges, just like an ori original one. Uh, it's kind of like Homebrew. Uh, Felix Fix It Felix Jr. does not play because it's not in the database. So that is definitely one that's not going to play uh, the Retron 5. So if you got anything that's Homebrew, probably not going to work. Official stuff will work. I might send them, uh, ask them if they can add this to their database. And maybe we can figure out how to hack it in there. I kind of need to play this one, but everything else plays. I'm really surprised that it detected the um, the uh, pirated ones as original, but, you know, basically, like I said, it's probably just they take the ROM off the original one, stick it on the cartridge, and life is great. So it's probably just the, you know, original ROM. So there you go. The Retron 5 does play at least these three, the pirate cartridges. So if you do have those, uh, it will play. But like I said, it's easy to kind of detect these uh, fakes. Uh, just look at the label. The label is like this one's shifted over. It's not sticking right. And it looks brand new. Uh, molded screws, not real screws. Are very lightweight and it has the white edge connector. So it's kind of obvious that this, these are fake. So don't get fooled by these. But if you have them, at least you know that Retron 5 will play them. It's just like the original cartridges. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's you guys. Have a great day.